Okay, today I'm going to run you through how to start up and run our solar air compressor. Okay, this is a control panel right here. It actually shows you the uh, amount of PSI you're putting out. This is the hours on the machine, your ignition. This is for start and run. And then it also has a glow plug indicator on here that you'll want to push during uh, cold weather times to get it to start. And because it's so loud, I'm going to kind of run through uh, how to start it. But for right now, when you get ready to start it, uh, you'll want to have it on the start mode here. Mm -hmm. Then if it was like cold weather, which we're in the middle, middle of summertime, so we won't need that today, you would press this for probably 15, 20 seconds, let off in cold weather. Then once it gets running, you're gonna wanna turn it to the run position. Okay. This is the side that has the uh, oil, in, oil indicator on it or the check. So we'll check the oil, make sure that it's good on this side. We we'll also have a couple of sections of hose in here along with the jackhammer and a nozzle for spraying just air if you wanted to blow something off. We got the latches. On the door panel back here to latch it open. So that's this side. And on this side over here is where your fuel tank is located. This thing runs on diesel fuel. Looks like we got enough in there to do our test today. Usually put the off-road diesel in this, but regular diesel fuel will work as well. So that's this side. Start it up. We have it on the start mode. Then we're just gonna turn the ignition to start. position once it does. Basically that's all there is to running it. Uh, I'm going to get one of the hoses out and I'll show you how to hook the hoses up. Okay to hook the hose up I'm just going to run through how to hook the hose up. These have a, a, a rubber seal here. I have it both on this the uh, female side and also well I don't know if it's a male or female but anyway each side has a rubber bushing and what you want to do is you want to bring it up here like so mm -hmm. and then you'll want to turn it like that clockwise and then once you get that in there it has this is a safety pin so that this doesn't blow off when it gets under pressure and it's got two little holes there that line up so now you're ready to go the same the same way that it hooks up here is how the uh, whatever attachment it is you're going to hook up to, that's the way it works. I want to talk about these ball cock valves that are on here. You can hook your hose up to one or both of these, but you want to open them up. That's open and that's closed. So once you get your line hooked up and your compressor running, you turn this this way so that, and that allows the air to flow into each line. Same thing on this one. I think that's it. So thanks again for watching the video.